Arsenal Football Club, the third most successful club in England. The only English team to ever win the league without losing a single game. But of all the terms used to describe the club, their nickname, the Gunners, remains most popular. But why exactly are they called the Gunners? What gave birth to this iconic name? Why do they even have a large gun in their logo? Well, guess what? We'll be answering all of these questions in this video, and we know you're buzzing to hear all about it. But just before we get into it, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist, and insider scoop. OneFootball is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favourite club and favourite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the OneFootball app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the OneFootball app. Uh, you're welcome. Now, where were we? Oh, right, yeah, we were just about to talk about the Arsenal logo. Surely you know the current Arsenal logo. You know, the one in the shape of a shield with a gold cannon on it and the word Arsenal written in white. Yeah, that same one. It's beautiful, isn't it? But do you ever wonder how this logo came to be? And did you know that this isn't the only one they've ever had in their history? Uh, that's right. Matter of fact, ever since the club was formed over 100 years ago, they've changed their logo about 10 different times. That's right. Well, this current version we all know of was just adopted in 2002. And yes, it's a modification of previous versions of their logos. Uh, okay, there was actually more than just one modification, and we'll still get to that. But to understand it better, how about a quick backstory? Okay, so contrary to what most people think, the first official logo of the club wasn't created until 1905. This was about nine years after the club was formed. And unlike the club's current logo, which has a single cannon, the first ever logo actually had not one, but three cannons. And not just that, they were pointed upwards. Well, the club was based in Woolwich at that time, and that logo was more or less just a replica of the city's coat of arms. But that soon changed, because seven years, one relocation, and one world war later, the club finally created a new logo. The second in their history. And unlike the first one, which had three cannons, this one had just one, which was pointed to the left. But it seems nothing was enough to satisfy those in charge of the club, because over the next few decades, they kept making changes to the logo. And at some point, people may have even started to wonder if they were only doing it for the fun of it. Until eventually, in 1949, it finally appeared that they'd found the one. A new logo with its cannon pointed to the right, as well as the club's official motto inscribed at the bottom in Latin. We're not sure what was so special about that one, but the club seemed to really like it, so they stuck with it and didn't change it for decades. Well, of course, except for a few colour adjustments every now and then. But it really did seem like the perfect one for them. Well, until 2002, when they decided it was time to let it go and move on to a new one for commercial reasons. And with that decision came the birth of the one that's currently in use. Of course, since that time, there was also a temporary ceremonial version. That one was used only in the 2011-2012 season to celebrate the club's 125th year anniversary. So, now that we have a bit of an idea about how this logo came to be, how about we talk about the meaning behind it? And for that, we would need to have a good description of what it looks like. Now, when you look at this Arsenal logo shaped in the form of a shield, what are the things that are most striking to you? Well, for us, it's the gold cannon, the inscription of the club's name in white, and the background of two different shades of red, along with its white and blue border. That colour theme is actually a combination of the club's colours, while the cannon and shield are references to the military history of the town where the club was formed. Which finally brings us to the point about their nickname, the Gunners. Now, you might be wondering if the nickname has anything to do with the massive gun on the logo. Well, we're glad to tell you that it totally does. And it also has a lot to do with the history of the club. You see, the club was formed in 1886 by workers at the Royal Arsenal Factory in Woolwich, a factory known for producing all sorts of ammunition. Yes, especially guns. Add to that the fact that all the club's logos in their history have featured cannons, which are basically massive guns, and what you're likely to get is a nickname with a gun reference. 
But then we don't think it was that simple. You gotta give it to the genius who first called them the name because we don't know about you, but the Gunners sure sounds way cooler than other possible nicknames that could have been given. And you've probably also heard the word the Gooners. Well, that is actually a nickname to refer to fans of Arsenal. And as you may have correctly guessed, it was gotten from the word Gunners. So there you have it, the story behind the Arsenal logo and nickname. So is there any other cool stuff you know about the club? Do let us know in the comments section. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And to get more cool videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Catch you later. Bye.